the main thing that I'm building are the God masks. Um, a, a little bit about them, they're, they're representing uh, eight of the classic Egyptian gods. They are going to be on the dancers who are going to be on them. They are all very big and shiny and show-stopping. Well, that's the hope. Um, they have had quite a process. Uh, I molded them, each one, individually out of clay. Uh, then took that clay form and uh, cast plastic over it. There, we put hot plastic over the clay and, and it, it molded. Uh, then attached that to a base piece that went on each dancer's head. Then uh, we are in the process now of covering all of the faces now with uh, the fabric that's going to be on them. And then after that, we're going to uh, brighten up different parts and add add just a little bit of paint and, and mirrored pieces and things to just make them sparkle that much more. So it's going to be very exciting and very excited to see them on stage. Well, the most challenging wig, believe it or not, that we're doing here are the eunuch wigs. They're bald on the top, they have a headband, and then they have the specific black hair thing going on them. And they go on for one scene in the middle of the show, on four of the supers. So they have to go on and come off. Now, if they were going to play these characters all through the show, I would use a bald cap on them or see if some of the guys would shave their head or do something like that. But they have to play a large number of other characters as well. So it had to be something that went on and came off, was believable, and hopefully it will be. I haven't done fittings on these yet, and fulfilled all of the requirements of the piece. So as you see here, there's a little bit of tying here, and once I get this tied, then this will get painted, and the headband will be added, and then we can start styling. This wants to be a little bit more organized curl. I've got to redo this. Well, we all want a little bit of wave up here, and then we want some curl that flips under or up. Uh, I'm still doing experimenting, and Martha will okay it, or you know, who knows? We'll just keep doing it until we get it right. And the bottom line is, it all has to look right on stage with the lights, with the set, with the costumes, on the singer that they're on, and in the overall intent of the production. And uh, if we can make the singer happy, they will always carry it out and wear it better, and that will always that will always work better when they're happy. All right, what we're working on today are braziers for Aida. Uh, this is what the designer sends us. Um, you'll notice that it doesn't have a whole lot of detail as to how to make the fire come out of the braziers. So that's what we're working on today. Of course. And then we went out, we got some poly silk or china silk from the fabric store and we've painted it up to have a nice little flame detail on it. Alright, so we have our silk flames that we've done up with uh, shoe dye. And so we just take magnets. Eventually these will be wired into place on the frame, but for now the magnets allow us to move it around to get the best airflow options. We have them cut one on each side of the light to catch the light the best. goes well. So and then eventually this entire unit will be mounted inside the uh, brazier pot, bolted down, muffled. And there we have theatrical flame. Woohoo! <laughs>